All right, guys, we are now officially in Mexico City down by the Zocalo. We're going to try and do our best to show you guys around, but there's a big ladies' march going on. They're protesting men. Uh, so we'll be seeing some of that throughout this video, but today is going to be the Mexico City vlog. Crush up the likes. All right, guys, Mexico City is the largest city in North America with over 25 million inhabitants and the actual second largest city in all of the Americas only behind Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, so this, what I'm standing on right now here at 8.30 in the morning is the Zocalo. That right there is the city municipal cathedral. Behind me is the actual uh, national, some sort of national uh, government building. These buildings here are actually federal buildings. Uh, this area, though, is the Zocalo. This is the most popular area that people come. But like I said, there is going to be a protest here. So for the most part, Monday morning, very chilled. Uh, let's keep going around. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go on this tour to Teotihuacan and check out the sun and moon pyramids. And then when we come back from that tour, we will show you guys around some of the neighborhoods of MXD, Mexico City. Yeah, so this is an archaeological site here in the center of Mexico City called Tlatelolco. Uh, you can see this is uh, made of rock, kind of like what you would see at the Sun and Moon Pyramids in Teotihuacan. Now we're going to drive out there. It is about an hour drive. You get to see some of these neighborhoods along the way, these favelas that go up the hill. First stop is tequila tasting. We go to the center on May the Hall. We scratch inside with a special spoon, and after the plant produces a natural juice. This kind of juice is very sweet. We call agua miel, honey, honey water, because the oh. juice is very, very sweet. So then, we suck it out the juice and ferment for 24 hours. After 24 hours, it becomes an alcoholic drink. It is called in Mexico, pulque. Black obsidian. We have the same stone, the same quality, rainbow color, like this. Venturina. Venturina. This is the name, the stone, Venturina. This one right here? Mother Abulani. Pearl. Abulani, yeah, Mother, Mother Pearl. Pearl. Abulani shell. Mother of Pearl. Okay. I'm putting hot <laughs> water with the sun and then this is the It is a juice. Juice from the agave. Yeah. Agave plant. For you? What is that? This is the juice of the maguey then 24 hours. It's five. Yes. My friend? That's not. Still going to walk it. Two hours. Yeah. Just today. Bueno. Good. As much as I wanted to buy some pulque or some tequila or mezcal from here, I ended up just getting some jewelry and uh, getting the samples nonetheless. But now we're going to head out to the actual pyramids, walk around, show you guys how awesome this complex at Teotihuacan is. So we've made it to Teotihuacan. We're gonna go inside here, take a look at the sun and moon pyramid. You can't uh, climb up to the top anymore because of sanitation reasons, but still be cool to see the, the pyramids from down below. Contrary to what people think, this is actually the Teotihuacanos who built this, not the Aztecs. This was a pre-Aztec civilization. The Aztec civilization is where modern day Mexico City is known as Tenochtitlan. This is Teotihuacan, two different areas. And everything. What is this? It's a wait and see, wait and see. And oh, please get close. What is this? Those are the eggs of a bar. Oh. Oh. Paint. The way my ancestors obtained the colors were mineral, animal, or vegetables. Look at this place. Look at this. Indigo. Oh, indigo. This is the port Minerals. Mm. Wow. 
What color? Yellow. 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 Fiber of the maguey. Mm. And the, the postcards are inside. Yeah, so here we are in front of the Pyramid of the Moon here. Uh, I was curious if the Pyramid of the Moon was had any like chambers or tunnels in it, and it turns out it's pretty much solid. They did say they found a little bit of a gate that you could crawl under underneath it, but for the most part, uh, it's solid rock made out of like this adobe mud, and the glue that they used for the mud was from the, uh, I believe from the cactus, the syrup. So like the sap was what they mixed, the uh, adobe mud and the limestone and the straw. That's what bonded it all together. And so they basically were trying to create a mountain, which is the pyramid, to be able to worship from. Much of this area has been restored. It still looks similar to how it looked back in the time they found it. There are some pre-Hispanic uh, pictures that you'll see. And then there's some Hispanic um, murals and paintings, drawings, that when the conquistadors stumbled upon this place, they drew what they saw. So you can see both of that and the hieroglyphs and the drawings and the paintings around this actual uh, facility. This copy is the original. Yeah, those musical instruments you see there, you can actually purchase on site. They mimic the sounds of a jaguar and a couple other animals. So as you can see right here is what looks like a puma or a jaguar. Uh, it's a large cat with its mouth open. They found this while they were digging the uh, avenue of duck with that here. So they found this nice mural. For the most part, it's fairly intact. You can see the colors. And uh, as we saw from that depiction of how the guy was making the colors, the red and the yellow and whatnot. You can see those same colors right here, which come from those plants and those bugs. Obsidian? It's a real obsidian, my friend. And this, this right here? Malachite. 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 And what's this, a weapon or for the cutting of the pescado? Pescado, este, tiburones. All right, so this is Brian from The World Hiker on YouTube, and I'm living down here in Pueblo, Mexico. Uh, I've been to 195 countries and been to all 50 states in the US, 32 states of Mexico, and climbed 600 mountains. And so, love the outdoors, love travel, and love sharing it with people all over the place. What we have here is the Pyramid of the Sun. If you look that away, you could see pyramid of the moon but the pyramid of the sun is definitely the big one i've been to the top of this one hopefully when you guys come down here in the next month or six months you can go to the top and get a great view yeah you could see if you look down here some ceremonial type area this could have been where they had the ball court you guys all know about the game they played with the ball this might have been where they did it uh, i know the mayans did it north american Native Americans did it, uh, but obviously a ceremonial area. And if you actually look behind me, you can see the Pyramid of the Sun. Yeah, so here we are, we're gonna get some lunch, and this is traditional uh, food here. Some like traditional Aztec, uh, Mexico cuisine. So let's see what they got.
<laughs> it tastes like asparagus. In here we got mix of steak, carnitas, cheese, cactus, tomato, cucumber, and onion. Yeah, so when you come to this uh, church here on the TLT walk on ch tour, uh, this is the Cathedral de Guadalupe. And if you look here, they have a new church and the old church. And if you look at that church, you can tell it's actually leaning sideways. Uh, so the old church, new church, but the new church is uh, strong. The old church, I can't believe it's actually leaning because in Mexico City, the soil is actually sinking. All right, so now on day two, we're gonna walk around some more of Mexico City here. We're gonna to go to Cayo Acan, and we're actually gonna show you around the area by Chapultepec, but the Castile was actually closed on the day we were here. So we're not gonna be able to show you that. Some mercados, markets, and whatnot. This area we're showing you right here is La Reforma. It's one of the main city center uh, stretches here. It's basically like the Broadway or the city center central road of the entire Mexico City. A lot of people don't know this, but Mexico City is up above a mile high in elevation and it's in a valley in the mountains. But this is a really interesting city. This right here is the park at Chapultepec, but like I said, the castle is actually closed. If it's open on the day you're here, you will want to check out that beautiful castle on the top of the hill. This here is a quick look at the neighborhood called Roma, which is actually one of the more popular neighborhoods you'll want to check out around Mexico City. A really high-end, kind of chic vibe out in Roma. 
Anyways, now we're going to head out to Kaioa Khan, which is the city of the coyotes. Yeah, so uh, lots of uh, cafes and whatnot around Kuya Khan. Uh, they got churros. You guys have probably had churros before if you've been to Taco Bell, but I'm going to try one down here in uh, Mexico. Maybe we can get a little chocolate to dip it in. We'll see, but you can see that's what we're going to get here. Ah, bien gracias. Chocolate. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are going to take the uh, Kuya Khan uh, trolley around here and they're going to show us the old town, so uh, just one way to see the town. If uh, it's 80 pesos, that's not too much. That's about $4 per person. Yeah, so in case you're wondering why they call it Koya Khan, it's actually named after coyotes, the area of the coyotes. That's why it's Kaioa Khan. Uh, around this area, Hernan Cortez had his house. So there is the Hernan Cortez house as well as his translator's home. Uh, one of the areas that you want to check out is the neighborhood called Del Carmen. And then there's the Francisco Sosa Avenue, which we're going to actually walk right now. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from around Mexico City. Watch some of these other videos from across Mexico here on Island Hopper TV, and we'll see you guys on the next one.